Sit down, Ray. You're making me nervous. Shannon's sick, Joe. I wouldn't be nervous. Yeah, well, you jumping around like this, it's not gonna make her any better. What if she dies, Joe? Doc, what's going on with my girl? Well, I'm afraid it's what we thought originally, Ray. Shannon's test confirmed that she does have leukemia. Jesus. But with a good bone marrow transplant, she could be looking at a full recovery. I understand Shannon's uh, biological mother passed away some years ago. Right. Which leaves you, her father, and absolutely best donor. We need to get started right away with some initial testing. You're gonna test my blood? Any reason that we shouldn't? No. Of course not. Yeah. Good. Now, Shannon's a little dehydrated. We're keeping her for a little observation. Uh, I have to go and see another patient. And why don't you two talk, make some decisions, and I'll be right back and we can get you started, Ray. not my daughter. And the minute they do all those bone marrow tests, they're going to know we don't share the same DNA. Wait, did you just say you're not Shannon's father? Ray. Not her biological father. Uh, what the hell? You and Becky had Shannon's. How is she not yours? Becky and I never had any kids. We broke up because she didn't want any. She said I wasn't responsible enough to be a father anyway. God, all this time, you lied to me. I'm sorry, Joe, but back when I was DEA, chasing down addicts and dirtbag traffickers, I kept running across this same girl. This, I don't know, this 18, this 19-year-old this girl, this total lowlife, Abby. And she had a little girl, a sweet little baby girl. You just took her. What was I supposed to do? Shit, give her to social services. <laughs> Not a goddamn chance, Joe. You know, way before this all went down, I already talked to social workers about Abby. And nobody on the streets knew a goddamn thing about that little girl's... about Shannon's father. So you thought you could just raise her by yourself, huh? I did raise her by myself, okay? I got her a new birth certificate that said Shannon Robinson. I left the force. Moved out here to the country. Started over as a single father. Just the two of us. Bought this little blue birthstone day after I brought her home. That was for her. You told me that ring came from your dad after he passed. Uh, 
I needed a story. Oh, you had a story, all right. You invented the whole thing about Shannon being the child of divorce. I'm sorry, Joe. I didn't know what to say. How about the truth? <sighs> that would have gone over great. Hi, Jolene, I'm Ray, and this little girl I got from a crack whore. You wanna join us? <sighs> Poor Shannon. All these years, living completely in the dark about where she came from and who you are. I did what I thought was best. Your best was a lie. You know, I was hoping in this situation that you might help me. <laughs> How am I supposed to help this? Our little girl sick with leukemia. She's hoping for a miracle, and the very best person that can help her is her father. And guess what? You're not her father. Good God, Ray. What about us? Is there anything true and good about us? Of course there is. Honey, 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 honey of course there is. Everything, look at me. Look at me, you, you, you are the love of my life. Okay? The, the, the last person that I wanted to get caught up in this. Please. Please, I, I, I didn't want to make you an... I didn't want to make you an accomplice with what I did. Okay? You had to know what you did was wrong. Yeah. What do you do when the wrong thing is also the right thing, Joe? to go to jail for giving that girl a safe and happy life. Where's Ray? 